guys, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Ellie Arquette. I'm a psychic medium, a spiritual life coach, and founder of Ellie Arquette Cosmetics. If you guys are interested in my vegan, organic makeup and skincare line, please visit my website, elliearquettecosmetics.com and click on shop here. It'll take you to the boutique section. If you guys wanna book a session with me for psychic reading, uh, mediumship reading, or life coaching sessions, go to elliearquette.com, click on book a session here, and it'll take you straight to, the, to that page so you can see how much it is and how to book it. And if you guys uh, want to support my channels, you can subscribe to all my channels, honey. You can donate to my channels, no one's stopping you. Well, I have Cash App and PayPal in the description box down below. I really appreciate it. So make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up before we start. And let's get into today's video. So I decided to sit down and really sit down and do some work. I wanted to sit at uh, this here, this area that I do my um, tarot card readings for my other channel that's that I've named tarot messages with Elliot do general twin flame reading on that channel collective reading and I was like I'm just gonna sit down so I can just do the cards as I'm talking to you guys first of all a lot of you guys are asking me the name of my cards these cards my tarot cards are all like gifts to me by my my viewers that I've named alienators this was a gift to me and I'm literally obsessed right now currently obsessed with this deck um it is called the green witch tarot um it comes with a little booklet i haven't even opened it uh but it, it will teach you like how to read it and stuff so it's called green witch tarot okay so that's that now today i want to basically talk about and pull cards on brian laundry brian laundry's family mostly his parents mom and dad because do you guys remember when I first started doing when I I think when I first sat down and I did a reading on Gabby Petito um I saw that her body was going to be recovered and all that stuff that she had passed on and she had crossed over and then when I started tuning into Brian I started seeing all these deaths around him like I saw six bodies and then they ended up being like six or seven bodies or something like that now, a lot of you guys have been asking me, Ellie, do you think that Brian Laundrie is actually like a serial killer or, you know, can you can you do a reading on it? I wanted to do a reading on it. And I also wanted to kind of take a look at his parents because right now, based on the evidence and the state of Florida, um, the mom and dad probably most likely will be faced with some sort of like charges here because they don't fuck around in Florida. There's a lot of crazy crime that, that happens there and they don't screw around there. I think it's like, it's like if you're involved in any shape or form, accessory to murder or aiding and embedding, all that stuff, like it, they, that's some serious shit there. So let's talk about it. First of all, the investigation is still open. This is not a case, closed case here. Like they have not closed the case because they found his remains. Um, the investigation is still open because there's things that are missing from their investigation. So what happened was when Brian Laundrie's body or remain, his remains like skull, jawbone, teeth, whatever were found, month later um they are telling us that basically he had um died uh allegedly based on suicide like i don't know i, I don't want to say weird things because youtube is on my ass you guys you guys youtube is on my ass so i can't so allegedly reported that he did this right and now they figured, and now they're saying like, you know, based on um, the investigation that it was a self-inflicted gunshot to the head. But where the fuck is the gun? It, it, it's, I don't want to get too graphic here, but it's like, if I'm going to shoot myself somewhere, the gun's going to be right next to me. Like I'm going to fall to the ground and the gun's going to be like right there. Like it's not complicated. It's called gravity. Like if I'm standing or sitting or whatever fuck I'm doing, 
even if I like do whatever I, however I do it, it's going to be right there. So the gun is missing now. Let's talk about Brian's mom and dad. I'm going to pull some cards on it, but I needed to kind of talk about this first. Brian's dad apparently owns like 10 handguns. And apparently while this investigation was happening, the FBI went inside the house, they investigated and collected all of Brian's dad's handguns and took it out of the house. Now, it is reported that one of the handguns was missing from his collection. So Brian Laundrie's dad had a collection of 10 different pistols like handguns, right? Now, one of them was missing from its case when FBI came in to investigate the house and they took all of, the, all of the, the guns that they found out of the house. So that already in itself is a little suspicious because did Brian's dad stage this? Now disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I don't, I don't, I don't have the evidence or the, the, the transcript in front of me. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm just saying it, it's it's kind of odd so that the, the, the gun is missing. Now, the gun is missing from Brian's parents' house, the, his dad's collection. And the gun that apparently was used for this suicide is also missing. So where the fuck is this gun? So that's in itself. Now, another question that you guys constantly email me and ask me and DM me or whatever. You were like, hey, Ellie, do you think that Brian Laundrie it wanted to become a serial killer? Brian killed the Moab couple. Now, the Moab couple, the two, the two girls, two women that um, were newly, had gotten married or whatever, I believe were at that tavern that day that the fight was um everybody watched Brian storm in and out of the tavern restaurant or whatever and Gabby was crying and he was super rude to the wait waitress this is the story right am I correct on this I think they were there or one of them worked there and then all of a sudden they were murdered so did they witness something? Did they see something about Brian? It's just, this case is really fucking crazy. So because of that, I want to take a look and see, did Brian want to become a serial killer? I know that he was reading a book. You guys have told me the name of the book and I can't remember, but apparently he was reading a book when he was camping or he was on this like road trip that it talks about like these campers that go camping and they started killing people or something like that. Basically, I am going to um, start asking Spirit what the hell is going on. I hope that this video is going to be okay and uploaded and not lost or vanished. So let's find out. Let me stage myself really quick. So Spirit, please protect me and bless me. Bless my space and protect me and protect my space. I want to tune in to the case of Brian Laundry and his parents. <sighs> Love the smell. So Spirit, I basically want to find out, uh, Alexa, what is Brian Laundry's parents' name? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, his father was James Bryan and his mother, Emily Austin Perry. This is not correct. Alexa, what is Brian Laundrie's parents' name? Here's something I found on the web. According to studylive.net, his parents were Christine Weber and Anna Maria Dornbach. What the fuck are you talking about, Alexa? Have you lost your mind? Oh my God. Alexa has lost her mind. Anyways, okay, so. No, thank you. Bitch. She's like a fucking bitch. Anyways, okay. Spirit, Brian Laundry.
like I don't even have to try with this case you guys I don't even have to try with this case the witch came out like this is some fucking crazy shit right here I'm sorry for cussing but the witch the witch came out this case is being protected by occultists. Now, I'm an occultist, and these are my people, so I can't talk shit about them, but some of them um, really go to, the, uh, to go to the dark side. You know, I try to stay as neutral as I possibly can. I can go dark, and I can go, I can go light. I have access to light, and I have access to dark. I work with spirits, and I work with demons. But I'm neutral, I'm kind of on my broom, like, in the middle i'm kind of just cruising in the middle right neutrality but i'm i'm here to tell you guys 1000 percent this case is being protected by a cultist this is beyond you and me that's why when i did the reading that 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 video that got deleted brian and gabby came out next to them was the high priestess the high priestess is, is the uh the gatekeeper of secrets like she protects the secrets she she sits in front of the veil that you can't see what's behind her you can't see what's you know behind a curtain so so this case is very much being protected by by an occultist by witches so spirit thank you for that basically i want to know first first i want to ask did brian brian laundry have serial killer tendencies did he want to become a serial killer? Did he kill more than one person? Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Did Brian Laundry kill more than one person in this lifetime? Thank you, spirit. Brian Laundry. Did he kill more than one person in this life? Did he want to become a serial killer? Did Brian Laundry want to become a serial killer? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. I need three more cards. Did Brian Laundry want to become a serial killer? Did he kill more than one person? Wow. 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 Okay, so first of all, the answer to my question is a big fat ace of swords, which is yes. He killed more than one person. He wanted to kill, and I think he was becoming a serial killer. Now, the next to the ace of swords, which is basically a yes to my to my question, is the high priest. Now, in my deck, in this deck that I in that in this deck that I use, we have a high priest and a high priestess. In the regular deck, we just have a high priestess. Um, and which is you know, because this is a witch's deck, this this deck is actually for witches, okay? So there is a male witch war, warlock that is assisting Brian. I know this sounds kind of out there, what I'm trying to say to you guys, but we have the Ace of Swords and the High Priest. And then the Witch came out earlier. So these are the two cards that came out. So the next card is Harvest. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys are ready to what, what, what I'm about to say. And I don't know if you guys are going to understand what I'm about to say. Do you guys remember watching the movie Matrix? Did you guys ever see the movie Matrix? The whole thing about is like they were making people or they were using people for energy. Now, in the occults, they harvest energy. So when they sacrifice a person, it's not about the flesh. It's not that they killed the person, like they put knives inside like a flesh. It's about their soul. It's about the, the energy that the spirit body, not the flesh body, but the spirit body. They are doing that to harvest the energy of the souls. Oh my God, he's literally working for Satan. Brian Laundry was literally working for Satan. They were harvesting energy. So basically these high, priest, 
high priests and high priestess, the dark side of magic and the dark side of the occult, okay? Because there are good witches like me, you know, but there are bad witches too. It's just like good people, bad people, right? So they were using Brian and influencing him or the spiritual realm was influencing him to harvest energy. It was about harvesting, harvesting energy, taking people's spirits and souls, like, you know, by sacrificing and saying, I'm going to sacrifice this person to the dark Lord, to Satan, okay? So that's that, and then this came out, and then this came out together. So we have the Horned God, and then we have the Earth Mother. If this doesn't get, I don't know how else to explain to you guys what I'm literally hearing and seeing. They started harvesting bodies, harvesting souls. They started harvesting souls. He didn't want to become a serial killer like you think. He wasn't like a Ted Bundy. He was hard, it was, okay, okay, so let me, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me calm down. Brian Laundrie's attempt to, to kill people was not the same as, like, Ted Bundy or uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, no. Brian Laundrie's reason to kill was to harvest souls because he was involved in a cult killing. He was involved in a cult killing. Now, disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. This is just my psychic opinion. This is just my opinion, okay? So he wasn't, he didn't want to kill other people because he wanted to become a serial killer like a, like a, like a, like a typical serial killer. He wanted to kill for the occults. Does that make any sense to you guys? We have the Horn God and then we have Earth Mother. Also, how many fucking times did I say that Gabby was pregnant? Now, everyone's like, oh, she wasn't. And they said that, no, that I don't give a fuck what they said. I'm telling you, she was pregnant. And here she comes again. They're right here. This is Gabby and this is Brian. Right here. First, I want to ask about that. So the answer to... Is Brian Laundry a serial killer was just answered. Now, I want to ask about Brian Laundry's mom and dad. Will Brian Laundry's parents... Oh my God, this car just flew out. The Standing Stone, this is law. This is the justice card. In the regular deck, this is the justice card. I'm sweating again. I'm sweating again, you guys. When I get like this, when I get like this, it's really bad. So this card flew out. The standing stone is the justice card in this deck. So they are going to have to deal with the law. Now, let's see what's going to happen to them. So, Brian Laundry's parents, are they going to get in trouble? Are they going to get in trouble? Brian Laundrie's parents, mom and dad, are they going to get in trouble with the law? Are they going to be charged for aiding and abetting? Thank you, Spirit. Will Brian Laundrie's parents, will Brian Laundrie's parents get in trouble with the law? Will Brian Laundrie's parents get in trouble with the law? Obviously, they helped him get away. One of the guns is missing from his dad's like collection of guns. They uh, gave him like a head start. They didn't tell the authorities that he came back without Gabby. Where the hell is Gabby's stuff? Like her purse, her cell phone, her bag. Where is the van? Was the van wiped clean? Was it car washed? Like. We don't know anything about any of the other stuff, but will Brian Laundrie's parents, will Brian Laundrie's parents get in trouble with the law for accessory or aiding and abiding a, 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 a fugitive, something like that, right? Let's see. Are they going to get in trouble? Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Blessed be, blessed be. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Let's see. 
Thank you, Spirit. No. They're going to be victorious. They are not going to get in trouble with the law. Thank you, Spirit. No. You guys, they're not going to get in trouble. Will Brian Laundrie's parents get in trouble with the law? No. Wow. So no, you guys. They have the victory card. They have the Nine of Cups that their wish is going to come true, meaning like they're not going to, their name is going to be cleared. Um, Brian and the people that are assisting Brian's like energetically are going to be, Brian came out, King of Cups. Yeah, no, they're not going to get in trouble. You guys, they're not going to get in trouble. So Brian's parents are not going to get in trouble, but you would think that they would get in trouble because of the gun, that the gun that's missing so far is showing that they're not going to be in trouble. Logically, you would think that his parents are going to get in trouble because he came back without Gabby. His mom apparently called and made a reservation for three people instead of four people. It's like, because, and then, and then, and they didn't notify, like, like Brian didn't notify Gabby's family. Like, by the way, we got into a fight and I left her like, I don't know where she is. Like he didn't say anything. He didn't notify them. His family didn't notify her family. They made a reservation and they went camping right away. What did they do there? Did they go there? Oh my God. Did they go to this place and concealed like all the evidence? If there was like incriminating evidence that he came back with like blood or blood on his clothes or whatever. I don't know. And the other thing that I don't know if you guys know, but Gabby's body was set on fire. And, and the reason that had happened or the reason that allegedly he had done that is to get rid of like um, evidence. Because if you burn the body, you can't get like fingerprints and um, DNA and all of that. So that's the, that's the fucked up part is that his parents, his mom called and made a reservation and they went camping, all three of them, I think, right? And uh, what did they do? Did they get rid of evidence? Was there evidence there that they get rid of? But it's showing, my cards are showing that they're not going to get in trouble. They're not going to get in trouble, you guys. They're protected. These people are protected. I'm going to ask one more time. Will Brian Laundrie's parents get in, get in trouble with the law? Yes or no? No, no, you guys are not. They're not going to get in trouble. All right, so so that this this was crazy. I hope this video is not going to get deleted. I hope this video is going to be able to get uploaded so you guys can watch it. To recap, from what I'm seeing from my cards, spiritually speaking, spiritually looking at, into this case, what I'm seeing is that Brian Laundry wanted to kill for the occults, not like a regular serial killer, okay? And he is heavily protected, spiritually speaking, heavily protected by a high priest and a high priestess and a witch. So this keeps coming out for him. He's heavily protected. When I did a spirit box session on him, that I probably will do another one this weekend because it got fucked up and I have to do it again. I'm probably gonna do one again. Um, so I literally heard in the spirit box when I was like, where is Brian? Where did he go? Is, has he crossed over? And I heard he's crossed over and he's with Satan. I mean, you guys, I don't know what else to say. Some people may not believe into this. Some people may not believe in this other stuff that I'm talking about. Some people don't believe in the spiritual realm, but as much as this reality is real as you're watching me and you can look at me and you and you can touch and feel and taste things the spiritual realm is just as real and if that reality is more real than this because this is just for a period of time 
um, but when you go on the other side, that's forever. Remember that. When you cross over and you die and you go to the other side, that is fucking forever. So you better figure out your shit now and make amends and have good karma and don't hurt people and don't kill people because you will go. Now, some people have asked me about what happens when we die. If you're, if you're a serial killer, a rapist, child molester, blah, 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 what happens to us? A lot of times, energetically speaking, God uh, kind of puts these people in like time out. Like basically he um, transmutes their energy. It's almost like they go into uh, purgatory. There's really a, such a thing. They go in there and they have to go through like um, getting released. These negative energies have to be released from them. And I think they get... They, they don't go to heaven. They don't go to heaven, but they get released. Um, they, they're used as energy or something really weird like that. I had a medium um, that I um, had interviewed a while back regarding near-death experiences and stuff, stuff like that. And she was telling me about all that stuff. And I really want to like, make a video about that. Maybe on my tarot messages, I'll make a video. Or maybe on my spirit box session, I'll make a video about that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below. This case is still open, so we can talk about it. We can make videos about it. If anybody says in the comment box down below, move on, blah, 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 blah. The case is open. I can talk about it. Fuck off, okay? Love you guys. Please subscribe. If you're new, please give this video a thumbs up. It's going to help me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.